Hello, my name is Glenn Zamet. I'm the executive chef of the Garlands of Barrington, an upscale, award-winning uh, retirement community. I'm here today to show you uh, one of my favorite dishes to cook for the holidays. Uh, it's very simple to cook, um, and it's a butter-basted sea scallops with a pea pesto risotto and some English peas and a little Parmesan snow. Um, a lot of people seem like they're afraid to cook risotto or scallops just because um, it's difficult to cook, but the way I'm going to show you is a very simple, simple process. Um, the first thing we're going to begin is uh, making our risotto. I got a sauce pot, we're going to heat it up. I like to use a carnoli rice for my risotto. A lot of people use arborio. Carnoli rice is a short grain, fat rice. As it cooks, it gets real creamy and starchy, which makes a perfect risotto. The first thing you want to do when making risotto, you want to get all your ingredients together. So I have uh, the rice, garlic, chopped shallots, olive oil, whole butter, and white wine. Okay, once we'll start the pot's a little warm, we're going to start with the oil. And I have about one medium diced onion. You like to use a wooden spoon. You don't want a metal spoon. You want to be scraping the pot constantly. So we can get the pot warm. You can add the onion. You want to hear that sizzle so you know the temperature is right. It's important you don't want to brown the onions. You just want to kind of saute them to get nice and soft. Add just a little bit of oil. Another teaspoon. Is that cooking? We're going to just a little bit of garlic, about a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of chopped shallots. Give it a stir. Just a touch more oil. The key to making good risotto is you want to constantly stir as you're cooking it. You're slowly adding stock to it, chicken stock or vegetable stock or water. You want to cook it slowly so it releases the starch. It's good, nice and creamy. Okay, so onions and garlic look kind of soft. Like I said, you do not want to brown them or burn them. And then about one and third cup of the carnoli rice. You want to stir and get it coated with the oil. And you want to use a nice dry white wine. It's called deglazing. We just add a little bit. Give it a stir again. And you can see it's going to really start absorbing the uh, liquid real fast. And for this, I'm using a nice vegetable stock to cook it in. Some people use water. You can use a chicken stock. As the wine's about evaporated, I'm just slowly adding the stock. Maybe about a cup. And keep stirring. The real, the real old world Italian chefs would constantly keep stirring and stirring until it's done. They would not leave the stove. Uh, we're going to kind of um, let it go. We're going to turn the temperature down just a little bit. It's absorbing some liquid already. We're going to keep it a little more. And we're going to keep doing this process till the rice is cooked, it's creamy. The rice should be able to pull away from the sides of the pan like a ribbon, and then you'll know the risotto is done. Okay, so we're going to let that go. While that's going, we're going to make our spring pesto, our spring pea pesto. Very simple. It's very simple, light. We're do about a cup of uh, English peas that have been shelled and blanched. Blanching meaning they're uh, just partially cooked. I got zest from one lemon. A little olive oil, about a third a cup. We're doing, we're making like a paste, like a pesto. Some cracked black pepper. And yeah, a little sprinkle of sea salt. That's it. We'll go back to the risotto a second. It's come along well, it's absorbing the liquid, it's starting to cook. See, it's getting starchy. Okay, we'll let that keep going. We're just going to give it a quick blend. Okay, that's, that's it. Simple as that. This is the finished product. It's kind of like a nice vibrant green paste. So that's the risotto. I 
Okay, the risotto's coming along nicely. Just got a little more stock. And when that's going, we're gonna start with scallops. We're gonna get this pan preheated. And some really nice sea scallops. Um, they're called diver caught sea scallops or day boat sea scallops. They're caught by uh, the divers. They're shucked right on a boat and they're shipped right to the um, to shippers. What, mean, what that means is um, they're not preserved in any preserve or salt solution, which some scallops are. These are really nice and dry, which is important when you cook them because you want to get a nice caramelized crust on them. So these are really nice sea scallops, as you see. You can see a little salt and pepper. We're going to start them out in olive oil, then we're going to kind of finish with whole butter, get a nice uh, brown butter flavor to it. Give the risotto another stir. It's still absorbing some more of that stock, so I'm just going to a little bit more. With the scallops, I like to use a Teflon pan. You want to get really, really nice and hot. It's important you want to sear the scallops really well, get a nice kind of brown, caramelized color to it. We're going to start out in olive oil first. I'm using an extra virgin olive oil. We'll get the risotto stir again. You see it's getting nice and creamy. You want to see your pan just slightly starting to smoke, then you know it's hot enough. Keep stirring the risotto. Okay, it's just starting to go. So you're going to carefully put the scallops in the hot pan with the oil. There's that sizzle again. You want to hear that sizzle. You're just going to let them sit. You're not going to move around, shake the pan. Just let them sit and kind of caramelize, get nice and brown. Get back to the risotto once again. Keep stirring. So our scallops are coming along. Okay, they got nicely brown, coming along soon. One more time. The result is getting very close. Turn it once again. I like about this dish for the holidays, it's really nice because you can kind of pre-cook the risotto, cool it down and bring it back to temperature. So you can get that done a day ahead, get it ready for the holidays, and all you're really doing last minute is stirring up your scallops. Take a look at your scallops, almost ready. So it's getting close. Some whole butter. Nice and brown, we're going to flip them over carefully. They got a nice brown uh, caramelization on there. That's what color you're looking for. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. You still want to caramelize the other side. This is where you can add some whole butter. And you want to overcook the scallops. If you overcook them, you're going to come up with a rubbery product. So I like to cook them like medium. Turn the heat down a little bit. I'm going to throw some aromatics in there for flavor. This is from fresh thyme. I'm just going to kind of put that in the butter. It's going to, it's going to infuse the butter some flavor. You have three garlic cloves to put in there as well. So you see the butter's browning. You don't want the butter to burn. You want it just to brown. It's going to get a nice brownie, nutty flavor. 
you got that thyme coming out, flavored, and you're just gonna kind of baste them. As you're basting, they're cooking some more. You're infusing them with flavor to fresh thyme, fresh garlic. And you're almost done. You're gonna um, just kind of firm to the touch. They're very close. We'll go back to the risotto. It's just about ready. I mean, just a little more stock. We have two restaurants here at the Garland's on the Winslow and the Grill. And this has got to be a very popular dish in both restaurants on the menu. We've been doing it every week and we're just getting ready for the holidays. So it's very popular. Uh, the members here seem to enjoy it. Okay, the scale's about done. I'm gonna keep basting a little bit. You can smell that nice fresh thyme garlic flavor that you're kind of infusing into the scallops and the butter. Okay, it's a nice little firm to the touch. It's just about ready. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the heat off, let it sit there a little bit. I'm gonna finish up the risotto. So as you stir it, it's kind of pulling away from the sides. That's how you know it's about ready. Now what we're gonna do next, we're gonna add butter, like a lot of butter. Two tablespoons of butter. And give that a stir. You wanna slowly melt the butter, we need some fresh ground pepper. A little sprinkle of sea salt. You keep stirring so the butter's melting slowly. I got a little fresh herbs we can put in there. This is uh, chopped rosemary, basil, thyme, and parsley. Then the butter's almost melted. I got some fresh Parmesan cheese. As you can see, it's a very uh, rich dish. As you put the cheese there, it kind of tightens it up a little bit as the cheese melts. Looking good, nice and creamy. Just got another uh, tablespoon of cheese. Then I'm gonna add, finish this product up, two tablespoons of fresh English peas. Give that a stir. Okay, scallops are good, they're ready. Then we got that nice uh, pea pesto we did. We're gonna add about a big heaping tablespoon. Give that a stir. It's gonna add a lot of nice flavor to it and give it a nice green, vibrant color. Looks good. And just a touch more pesto. In this dish, you can pretty do any kind of risotto you want. You can do a mushroom risotto, a truffle risotto for holidays. You can eliminate the peas, just do like a four cheese risotto. I like doing the pea risotto. It's got a nice green color, a nice flavor to it. It's perfect for the holidays. Okay. I'm gonna show you two ways that we plate it up. And also, this is a great idea that I do for cocktail parties. You can do individual ones. Make sure it's all ready, looks good. A quick taste, make sure I've got enough seasoning. That's good. I like to spoon a little bit in the plate. In the middle here. It looks perfect, nice and creamy, it's not too tight. And for an appetizer, if you're in a holiday party, this is great to pass around, or as your company's coming over, something to start up with. Here's a martini glass. I like to, I like to put um, scallops around. Like so. And for martini, kind of one on top. 
A couple things to finish off with. I take extra virgin olive oil, just get a little drizzle on the scallops. Some fresh ground pepper. And then I have uh, these called microgreens. They're little um, beet taps. They're great for a little garnish, kind of put in the middle here. Do a couple in here. And this I would serve it um, for a cocktail party. You give a little spoon or a cocktail fork with that. And here's a brown butter basted scallops with a spring pea risotto. And then this is the appetizer um, also can be served as well. Again, this is a very popular dish. One more thing I'm gonna put on there, it's a little different. I call it Parmesan snow. It's a microplane, a very fine grater. So I call it snow, kind of really light. It looks like snow as it goes on there. It's kind of cool, especially for the holidays. So some fresh Parmesan on there. Do a little bit on this as well. Let's shake there. And then there you have it. So our brown butter basted scallops, spring pea risotto. Um, for an entree size or also for appetizer or a cocktail party. Again, uh, my name is Glenn Zamm, executive chef from the Garlands. Um, this is the kind of food we do here on a daily basis um, in both our restaurants, uh, very popular, and uh, seem the members seem to enjoy it very much. Thank you.